All right, what's up guys? I wanna do this quick video using the pen tool in Vectornator on the iPad. Vectornator is a free software. It's real similar to Adobe Illustrator, but the pen tool is a tool that is in so, 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 so many software. It's in Photoshop, it's in Illustrator, it's in After Effects, it's in Final Cut. It's a great pen tool, it's a great tool. Um, the pen tool is used for all, all kinds of things. You can draw shapes with it. You can select things with it. You can uh, create vectors with it, which is what we're gonna be doing today. Um, but it's a tool that is used in so, so, so many realms of digital media, whether it is graphic design, animation, special effects. The pen tool is just super basic, so let's get into it. I'm gonna drag my, I am in Vectornator. I just have a 1080 by 1080 pixel square document. Um, let's go ahead and grab our pen tool. It's over here, it's this little guy. Um, looks the same in, in most uh, graphic design or most digital media software. Uh, first thing with the pen tool is if I just click I drop a corner point. If I click again a few more times, look, I got a shape. Let's close that shape by clicking on my first point, and boom, I have made a triangle. Look at me, pen tool. Um, let's go ahead and move that to the side. So if I click once, I have a corner point. If I click and drag or tap and drag, I create a curved edge. Look at that. I now have this cool looking potato shape. Uh, cool. Let's drag that somewhere else. Let's go ahead and do that again. Let's say I want to make something like a heart though. So I'm gonna undo those two points there. Boom, boom, three points, I guess. Let's say I wanna make something like a heart. Uh, heart would be a little bit more strange because I need to move my handles. I'm gonna click once for the bottom corner of the heart and I'm gonna click up here for the top portion of the heart because I should be able to drag it like that, right? That's kind of heart-like, I guess, right? Now, if I wanna move my front handle to tell my curve, because if I try to just drop this here, I get that weird curve and that's not what I want. The, oh, oh, I missed the undo button. The handles, I keep missing the undo button. The handles are what's gonna tell my curve where to go next or where it's coming from. So if I press and hold again, I have my front handle, which is the one that I'm dragging there, that says where it's gonna go next and my back handle, which is where it's coming from. That's why it's pointing up into the left. The back handle points up where that curve's come from. So if I press down with the second finger while I'm pressing and dragging, second finger, I can redirect or move my handles independently. So now I'm saying that my curve is gonna start by going to the top right or up and to the right. Let go, and then I can just close my shape, boom. Hey, it's a weird looking heart, but it's a start. I just made my first heart. Maybe if I make some more, it'll get better. Imagine that. But let's say I didn't wanna just make imaginary shapes. Let's say I wanted to trace something. On another layer here, I have this super cool vector of a shoe. Let's go ahead and hide my uh, bottom layer or maybe just delete it so I don't need it anymore. So I've got this, uh, this uh, image of a shoe, I'm sorry, and I wanna vectorize my shoe. Um, first thing that I do is I lock that layer so I don't accidentally click on the shoe. Um, and then I will make a new layer on top of it and that is the layer that we will be working on. So let's grab a pen tool. And let's start tracing. Um, I'm gonna go real simple. I'm gonna go kind of like fast through this. You might wanna, depending on what you're tracing or how much detail you wanna get, take a little bit more time. I just want this to be a quicker video. So uh, I'm gonna zoom in. I am going to drop my first point. Let's just say this is a corner and I will just go a little bit hastily through this. Now I have yet to really pull any curves, so I'm gonna undo that. And I'm gonna click and drag and get a little bit of a curve in there. I'm gonna put this corner down there and drag it out a little bit. Now I'm gonna go way down here and press again. And I'm starting to see this pink shape here. Now if I wanna change this, I can go up to my style tab in the top right. And I like to just drop the opacity just so I you know, don't need to see the pink. And then close my style tab, let's keep going with the pen tool. So for my next point, look at me going crazy with it. For my next point, I'm gonna click and drag, right? I'll just put it upright for you guys, sorry, I'm going crazy. Uh, I'm gonna click and drag and then I get to that weird part where I gotta go up there. So I'm gonna undo that one real quick and I'm gonna put it a little bit further up and I'm gonna drag, press and hold and redirect my handle. So what I'm doing is I'm never letting my stylus or my fingertip leave the edge of the shoe or the object that I'm tracing. Let me show you further what I mean. I'm gonna press and hold up here for another point and I click and drag it and as long as I'm not leaving the edge of the shoe, if I, like, I'm not dragging it down here, I'm not going up here, right? As long as I never leave the edge of the shoe, I can get kind of closer. Or, or Vectornator, the pen tool, will do a pretty good job at fitting it for me. So I'm gonna keep going up. I'm gonna ignore the laces for now. Maybe I'll do the laces as separate shapes with the pen tool. And 
pretty soon. Boom. If I increase my opacity once more, look, I've got the start of a shoe. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna lock that layer, hide that layer, make another layer, and let's do another shape. This is where I time lapse the video. Okay, let's come back. So some things that I did wrong here, maybe you saw this, is that like this curve like is way not where it's supposed to be. What I can do now is I can grab my node tool, this little arrow guy right here with like no little stem to it, and I can click on individual anchor points, and I can move and adjust individual anchor points. Y'all see that? What I can do there is I can also move my, oh, if I click on that, I can move the handles. If I press and hold with a second cursor, I can move them independently. So I can start to fix my design drop. I'm gonna go ahead and change the uh, color of that to something like white. Give it some opacity back to it. Reveal my uh, pink f f uh, start, and I'm getting the start of my pen tool tracing there. I was very hasty. I wanted this video to be quick. It's already running a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, but that is the basics of the pen tool using Vectornator on the iPad. Thank you for watching.